men's Aussie National Crit Champs was on today. Uh, this has got some power overlay from Kellen O'Brien, um, who was, to be fair, I'm going to ruin it now, but the eventual winner, I guess you already know this if you're watching it now, because it's pretty late on. Anyway, the power is absolutely cracked, because Strava, what it does is when you start and, like, finish a ride in the same place, it, like, hides it. So you'll see the power comes on late, and for the finish, it ends kind of early, but I still got the stats, so no stress. Anyway, Caleb Ewan is here with two teammates, Harry Sweeney, and Jared Drizner, so kind of favourites. Orica Bike Exchange, or what they're called, Jaco Alula, you can see on offensive third wheel heel. They got a lot of strong guys, Michael Hepburn, Blake Quick, Kellen O'Brien, uh, and Callum Scottson, and there's a couple others like Chris Hamilton, I think, as well. So you can see it's it's a hot dog loop, kind of most exciting course, pretty not crazy technical. Like one corner, to be fair, is kind of off camber. But you can see anyway. Kellen O'Brien is an absolute tank, 1 meter 94, absolute unit, did normalize like well over four, of over 400 on this race. You can see Harry Sweeney is like fourth wheel trying to get across this break. And this break was really threatening. So it went pretty early, like six, seven laps in. You can see here, the boys are going. And what you'll see behind is Taj Jones for Israel is bridging across now. Behind him is Blake Quick, who like I've made a video about, really, really fast guy, can't really. And there's Harry Sweeney trying to drill it back. He was actually in the break. Anyway, you can see the brakes really starting to get established, and but Blake Quick has made it across. Caleb Ewan was cruising at the back, missed the move, chow chow, no chance of competing for the win. And that was basically it. Those were the moves early on. They started just attacking down that straight. There wasn't great like close-up camera shots of it, but once Spike Exchange, um, they had like, or uh, Jayco, whatever they're called. It's so confusing. They change names every year. Uh, Jayco Alula. Well, anyway, once they basically had some guys off the front and Blake Quick made it across, Callum Scottson mainly launched it. Same with Callum O'Brien, but they did loads of work. There's a couple other decent guys like Taz Jones for Israel Premier Tech uh, and Ryan Kavanagh as well and two bridge lane like Conti guys as well. So we're coming into like the last lap. So there's a final downhill hairpin. Uh, this is an important thing to watch. You can see people are trying to fight for Callum O'Brien's wheel. Callum O'Brien, sorry, Blake Quick's wheel, who's number 16. Callum O'Brien is number 14, the bigger guy. And he got told, right, boy, it's time to do the lead out. And my oh my, did he lead him out. So he's front wheel, he's first wheel going into, sorry, this is actually not, this is two laps to go, sorry. Getting, getting excited. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so they were a pretty strong field. Did anyone attack? No, no one attacked. And I think if you've got two guys in this team, like like this Conti team do, I think you've got to attack. I think you've got to cause some carnage in the last like three laps maybe and just see what can happen. Like the thing is, if you don't attack, you're never going to win. So you've got to throw the dice, to be honest. I think the issue is you never want to be the first person to attack. So if you're the first person to attack, you're going to get chased down. But if you've got two guys, can, can, can kind of work. Anyway, the guy in the green jersey, he cops some intermediate sprint points. So no stress for that big man. He was, uh, he, he managed to do something else. And the other guys, like, the other thing is, I don't know if they're just happy to be there. Like, you know, if I was in, like, <laughs> the final of the UK one, like, no way I'm attacking. This is just a solid, like, you know, you'd be happy to be there. So again, but yeah. And also, like, you know, if you've got two guys who are, like, as strong as they are, and Callum Totson and Callum O'Brien. See, Callum O'Brien's letting the wheel go a little bit. I don't think he's trying to, like, um get Callum Scottson to win I think he's just trying to like leave a bit of a gap so he can sprint into it because this is one lap to go like this is it this is it this final corner is the decisive corner so you can see Callum Scottson's doing a pretty big lead out Ryan Kavanagh number eight is trying to move up and you can see Callum Bryan starts drilling at like 600 watts goes into this corner pretty hot you can see like Blake Quick takes the inside line making sure no one can dive bomb him clever and then Kellen O'Brien comes out this last corner and just goes nuclear like he's just like look how chilly is cracking out like a thousand watts and then the boy really starts dancing on the pedals here cracks up to like 1300 and this is when the power data dies because unfortunately um he's close to the finish so like we can't see it but basically he what he did on Strava was about 1380 for the last 30 seconds or something stupid like it was honestly a joke i've never seen anything like it and he just won he did such a good lead out he just won the sprint um so yeah anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy uh, we'll just get it up here actually because I kind of might have forgotten. So for 20 seconds, he cracked out 12.19, which is so, so strong. Um, and then, you know, like for 10 seconds, 13.30. So anyway, super strong performance in the big man. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this vid and I'll see you in the next one.